Hello, I'm Alexa Tan. I'm the Applied Technology Manager focusing on decorative products. I have been in the industry for almost 19 years, mainly on architectural, industrial and marine things. Currently, I'm involved in product development project and I'm working on one improving the pickup resistance. The main challenges I often hear in architectural exterior coatings is the pickup resistance and stain resistance. Architectural exterior coatings are subjected to harsh environmental conditions such as rain, snow, extreme temperature, UV rays and humidity. So these elements degrade the polymer causing erosion and choking and this coating are also subjected to mildew growth and dirt penetration which negatively impacts the appearance. In urban cities, the number of motor vehicles has increased dramatically and this increased the air pollution, causing more dirt pickup, accelerated the pickup. So, more professionals and DIY painters are increasingly looking for ways to reduce costs. If a coating is easy to clean and it has dirt pickup resistance and stain resistance, it will, be, uh, it will reduce labor and maintenance costs. ways to improve the pickup resistance. This can be achieved through influencing the surface porosity, the surface energy and the hardness. Striking a balance is very important here as the downside results in compromising on the elongation properties. It may also make the surface more porous resulting in increasing the pickup. Hydrophobic coating technology is one of the most promising approach to the pickup resistance. In hydrophobic coating, water beats more readily and they maintain the high surface energy, preventing the water from plasticizing the foam. At evonic coating additives, our Dago Folk hydrophobic agents can be used in paint as implementing primers. This additive offers optimum protection and enables systems such as silicone paints and exterior silicate paints, which can both brave and is water repellent. In the coating industries, a substrate is considered hydrophobic and water repellent if it cannot be wetted easily by drops of water. A visible and rational Artificial accelerated lab test method is needed to simulate actual dirt pickup conditions. The composition and the proportion of the pollution sources, the application modes and the cleaning cycles are key factors determining the test method. There is a working standard for ASTM, inviting experts and professionals to share their views and experience. Um, in other regions, the most widely used method is GB oblique T9780. But at Evone, we actually wanted to reflect the actual climate, so we exposed our panels to UV rays before we subject them to be sprayed by dirt from our DKU machine. This is followed by washing cycles. Our team in research and applied technology is constantly working with Smart Surface Solution Group to refine and standardize our test method. In addition, we are working on the next generation DPU products through my current project. Ivonic. Power to create.